on Vinyl Community. Welcome to another video with The Record Spinner. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a massive bootleg vinyl haul. Uh, these are bootlegs that I've been receiving as far back as the tail end of 2019. And I could have done this video earlier, but I didn't want to drop a whole bunch of bootleg videos all at once. So I've kind of been sprinkling them in at least once a month. And this might be my last bootleg haul video for a while um, until maybe sometime later this year. Um, it all really depends on what the air is like in terms of what I'm seeking out at any given moment. Uh, now, most of these bootlegs uh, do come from RolandRecords.com, the best bootleg slash collectible vinyl retailer out there. Uh, some came from his big uh, Black Friday event, his 25% off sale, and other price drops that he's done. And then some others came from uh, Reverb LP, which is no longer active, uh, Discogs, which I found a nifty way to get bootlegs from there, despite them being forbidden on sale on the site, as well as various other collectors on Facebook groups and such. And uh, this haul, I am simply going to call a little bit of everything, because I think there's something for everyone to dig. Uh, there's stuff in rock, metal, punk, and alternative, and I'm going to explain in great detail all the records I'm going to show in a timely fashion so this video won't go on forever. So, enough of the chit chat, let's jump into what this video is all about. And now we're going to kick things off with a heavy dosage of Black Sabbath. And the first record I'm going to show you is this one here. This is called Live in Oakland, 1992, Dio's Last Stand. Um, I got this from the Roland Records 25% off sale. And what's crazy is this was already marked down at $14.99 uh, because it was labeled as a B stock. Now, B stocks on RolandRecords.com are copies of records that essentially have a little bit of damage done to the covers that he'll kind of drop the value down because I guess is not worth you know charging full price for a defective product and there's like a little bit of um a little bit of damage to the cover there but it's not enough to really make me lose any sleep and then with 25 percent off scored this for about 12 bucks you really can't beat it uh this recording it's an audience recording uh not too bad sounding um is actually dio's last show with Black Sabbath until the mid-2000s when they got back together. Uh, this comes from the Dehumanizer um, album cycle. And actually, at the time when I received this, um, I had also uh, received the Dehumanizer deluxe reissue that Rhino did for Rocktober uh, this past year. So this kind of sits as a really cool kind of complimentary live release next to my copy of Dehumanizer. Uh, we have a killer set list of stuff from the De uh, Dehumanizer album uh, with things such as Computer God, um, Master of Insanity, which is probably the highlight, as well as I. Uh, some other great Dio Sabbath stuff like Children of the Sea. Um, what else is on here? Heaven and Hell, uh, Mob Rules, and then we also have like War Pigs, Iron Man, things like that. A uh, really killer set. And this copy comes on white vinyl, which is really cool. Kind of has a slight marbled effect going on. Kind of has some flex of like gray and black you kind of have to look at it real carefully it's, it might not come up on camera but it is a really cool piece of marbled white vinyl and uh, also really cool to have a rather historical document with uh having it be dio's last show until his return to the band in the mid-2000s now we break into some classic Sabbath territory with this really awesome collection. This is called War Pigs, The Early Sessions, August 69 to September 1970. Uh, this was added to RolandRecords.com. It's just a new title, and this was one that I really wanted to get my hands on uh, because it has all kinds of really cool early Sabbath recordings dating back to before they were Sabbath up until, I would say, maybe Paranoid. Uh, so on side A, we have recordings from uh, John Peel's BBC In Concert program. And what's interesting about those recordings is that uh, the version of the song Black Sabbath actually has an extra verse and uh, the structure of the song is completely different, which is interesting. And the version of War Pigs was back when the song was called Wall Purges and it had completely different lyrics that were changed. Really interesting to hear. And then side two, we have some recordings from uh, the Beat Club TV show. We have a, a cover of Carl Perkins' uh, Blue Suede Shoes, uh, Paranoid, Iron Man, all that usual stuff. And then the real 
highlights of this are the pre-Black Sabbath demos. This was back when they were called Earth. Uh, there's uh, The Rebel and When I Came Down, just really interesting early, like late 60s Sabbath demos. And then there's a live track called Early One Morning, which was recorded at the Rugman's Youth Club in Dumfries. And that concert has also been bootlegged. I've seen vinyl copies pop up here and there. I have not snagged it yet, but after hearing that recording, it's definitely one that I'm going to be keeping my eyes on. Uh, it's just a really cool collection of just assorted tracks from this early period. And uh, this was put out by a label called Verne Records. They're based in France. Um, they put out these great hard rock prog uh, bootlegs with awesome artwork, all kinds of like pictures uh, from the time, just really beautifully designed. And what I love is that they replicate that old school Vertigo label from back in the UK. So we have the Vertigo label on this side, and then we have all of the tracks listed on the flip side. So that's an awesome, awesome touch to those old school Vertigo pressings. And the last Sabbath record I'm gonna show you guys in this haul is an absolute major score. So this is called the Italian Trilogy, live in Vicenza, February 22nd, 1973. This was just before Sabbath Bloody Sabbath came out. Um, it's a two LP set, audience recording, really killer stuff. Now, here is how I obtained this amazing release. Um, so this was up on rollingrecords.com for 35 bucks. It's a bootleg, two LPs, that's the average price you'll probably pay. Um, he had dropped a bunch of titles on his site as a quote-unquote garage sale, which was just copies of stuff where there were damaged covers, and of course, you know, no one's going to really want to pay full value for that, so he dropped down the prices. But he dropped these titles down to crazy low prices. It wasn't just this record. There was some rap albums. I think there was a Dire Straits bootleg. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Single LPs were $10. Double LPs were 12 And in a matter of two minutes, those titles sold out on the site. And somehow, between those two minutes... I was one of the lucky few that scrambled their funds uh, fast enough to pull the trigger and place their order. And when I placed the order on this, I had an error message pop up on my phone. And I'm thinking to myself, crap, I got charged. You know, what if it was put in by accident due to the heavy traffic and it just went through? So I shot him a message. I'm like, hey, did that actually go through? Because I had an error message pop up. And he's like, no, nah, you're in the game. You got yourself an order. I'm like awesome so for 12 bucks you know sabbath audience recording from this era you can't go wrong but here's the thing and this is where my ocd kicks in as you see on the bottom there it's a vinyl series so we have this sh uh show from vicenza and then we have one from uh brescia i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing that and bologna uh, that are coming out uh, those were roughly around the same time as this show so that means that you know there's going to be you know, two other shows coming out as part of this trilogy. And of course, now that I have part one, I have to get the other two. I don't think I'll get them for $12, but if anything, it gives me a motive to hunt them down because of this really awesome release. We're going to keep this metal momentum going with the next record I'm going to show you guys. And that is Iron Maiden's Legacy of the Beast in England. Um, this was from the Roland Records 25% off sale. And uh, it was already on sale for like 20 bucks. So then 25% off top of that. Well, it came out to around $15 and change. And uh, this is an audience recording from the recent Legacy of the Beast tour that they did. Uh, this was when it came to the O2 Arena in London. And I did not have the pleasure of catching this tour when it came to Philly. It was just kind of simply a case of picking and choosing which shows you went to go see. So I did not manage to catch this tour, but I'm really kicking myself that I missed it. Because Maiden always does this thing where they'll release an album, they'll tour for it, and then they'll do these kind of nostalgia tours where they'll just do a whole bunch of old school stuff in the set list. And to miss a Maiden show where they played Aces High, Where Eagles Dare, Revelations, Flight of Icarus, and Run to the Hills. It's like, you know, what was I thinking? But luckily, I have this record to live the show. And uh, what's interesting, because this actually comes from Japan, and I did my research. There's a little sticker here on the OB strip. Uh, that means that this is indeed a promo copy. Really, really interesting. Crazy how a promo Japanese bootleg is being sold for 20 bucks and then 25% off on top of that. Uh, comes with an absolutely 
killer gatefold sleeve. You can get some really nice high quality shots there from the show. Comes on a uh, standard black vinyl with uh, white kind of promo labels. I'll show you them. Kind of just like all those other promo pressings where it just comes on the basic white labels with the Japanese writing. Really, really good stuff. This is a really awesome bootleg with a fantastic set list. Now we're going to bust into the hottest band in the world, and that is Kiss. This is called The Greatest Show on Earth, and uh, this kind of dropped randomly on the Roland Records site as a new title. And when I saw this, I immediately fell in love with it, just down to the cover. And also when I saw the source, I was like, oh yeah, I am getting this. So when the Dynasty Tour was bound to start in Lakeland, Florida back in 1979, uh, they've held a full-on kind of dress rehearsal for the press and such, and they just basically ripped through the entire um, show. And uh, they recorded it um, via the soundboard. So this is a soundboard recording. And I remember that in my early days when I used to collect bootlegs and burn them on CD and such, I actually did have this on CD. So I'm quite fond of this particular recording. And uh, what's kind of funny about this is that you have the band running through the songs. And then you know how Paul Stanley always kind of does his in-between stage banter, interacts with the crowd. On this bootleg, when you listen to it, Paul is almost mocking himself. Like, he's kind of doing, like, an elaborated, you know, simplified, dumbed-down version of his stage banter. It's kind of funny to listen to. Uh, but it's really, really awesome stuff. I love the way it's packaged. Uh, just, like, a nice homage to the Dynasty um, artwork. And I kept it in the resealable plastic that it came in because it comes with a nice hype sticker. And as you see... Uh, it is limited to 450 copies. I have copy number 140. And uh, this is also probably one of my favorite um, packaging designs for bootlegs. I mean, this is just beautiful quality stuff. Awesome cover. And then we open it up. We have a gatefold sleeve, which has some awesome live shots of the band. And then I'll show you guys the printed uh, inner sleeves that came uh, with the record. These are all from the uh, Dynasty Tour book. Show you guys the other one. There we go. And as you saw on the uh, hype sticker, this is indeed pressed on red vinyl. And we have the talisman symbols on the center labels. Of course, the talisman uh, from the uh, Kiss Meets the Phantom movie. So if you're a diehard Kiss fan, you can immediately point out uh, the, the nod of the center labels. I'll show you guys the other one. There we go. Awesome stuff. This is one of my favorite uh, Kiss bootlegs to have uh, in my collection. And then we jump 17 years later with this one. This is called A Live Worldwide Globe in Stockholm, December 6th, 1996. Uh, this is from the reunion tour that the band did. Uh, this is from the show that they did in Stockholm in Sweden. And uh, the set list on this, I'm just going to show it on camera. I mean, look at that set list. That is just perfect. I mean, Kiss was just firing on all cylinders when it came to this tour in terms of the set list and just the overall, you know, the magic that came when these guys got back together for the first time. It's just absolutely sensational. Um, I got this as part of the Roland Records Black Friday um, event. He basically uploaded a whole bunch of rare titles on the site and just all kinds of great stuff. I couldn't get every single thing that I wanted, so I kind of had to pick and choose in terms of, you know, are there any bootlegs from certain tours that I already have in the collection? So I kind of had to nitpick, and I'm very happy that this was one of the ones that I snagged. And uh, the copy that I have uh, comes on red vinyl. And I'm kind of kicking myself now because there was another color variant of this uh, bootleg available. Uh, there was a blue and yellow vinyl version, which kind of would have made more sense because those are the colors in the Swedish flag. So it kind of would have made sense, but instead I just got the red. And this also comes with a really cool insert with some uh, pictures of the band as well as the track list and another cool shot on this side. Really awesome stuff. And uh, from what I have heard in terms of bootlegs uh, from the Alive Worldwide reunion tour, uh, this is definitely uh, one of the uh, better sounding ones. It's an audience recording, but it must have been recorded quite close to the soundboard because it is really killer quality stuff. Now it's time to get the lead out with 
Led Zeppelin's The Night Stalker. And I got this at the same time as I got the um, the Kiss Greatest Show on Earth uh, bootleg. And this one is probably one of the best Led Zeppelin bootlegs that's out there on the market right now. Um, this is a recently unearthed soundboard recording from the forum in los angeles back in 75 this was right around the time physical graffiti had come out the only drawback of this particular recording is that robert plant's vocals is not at its finest but he pulls through the show i mean he probably just had an off night on this night but um it's really awesome stuff i don't think it's the full show because uh zeppelin shows were long as all hell back then but we have you know highlights from physical graffiti we have you know sick again in my time of dying trampled underfoot then we have um song remains the same the rain song whole lot of love black dog rock and roll all the good stuff and uh, as you can see I have copy number 143 out of 400. Copies 1 to 200 were on gold vinyl. 201 to 400 uh, are on clear. And both color variants were offered on the website, but I figured just for the sake of having something a bit more collectible, I got the early edition. So I'll show you guys the artwork of this bootleg. Absolutely killer photos of the band live. We have some other cool live shots as part of the gatefold. And then we have the records themselves, which indeed come pressed on gold vinyl. And we have the symbols for each member on the center labels. I'll show you guys the other one as well, just for the sake of showing everything. And there we go. Absolutely killer stuff. And now we have something completely different in terms of time frame and genre. Uh, this is the alternative part of the uh, of the haul, and that is the white stripes. I think I smell a hype. Um, I bought this off of a fellow member of the Third Man Records Collectors uh, Facebook group. Guy um, unloaded a bunch of uh, bootlegs on the page, and um, one of them was the BBC Sessions bootleg, which I already have since. Uh, Third Man um, had officially released those recordings for Record Store Day a couple years back. But I saw this one, and I've seen this pop up here and there, and I checked out the um, the source and everything. It's a, um, a radio broadcast recording from the Forum in London back in December of 2001. This was just around the time that White Blood Cells had come out. And, um, and you can really sense in this recording that the band was on the verge of taking off to stratospheric heights from this point on. It's an absolutely killer uh, show. We have things like Death Letter, Jolene, Hotel Yorba, Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground, Rated X, Apple Blossom, just some absolutely fantastic White Stripe stuff. And um, at this rate, uh, Third Man has been releasing a whole bunch of assorted uh, White Stripes live recordings um, as part of their vault subscription service so i would not be surprised if they licensed this recording to be released through there but until that happens i have this bootleg to hold me over now here is a bootleg that i actually got for christmas this past year and i showed it briefly in my christmas vinyl haul and i pretty much said that i would go in further detail about um the bootlegs that i got in future videos and that time has now come so i got the Beatles, live at the Philadelphia Convention Hall, September 2nd, 1964. Uh, this is a radio broadcast recording that was done for uh, WXPN in Philadelphia. Um, I just think this is really cool simply because, you know, Philadelphia is the major city that I go to for shows. So it's really cool to have a bootleg from a city so near. And um, what's cool about the show itself is that uh, we have a really cool rendition of If I Fell from A Hard Day's Night as well as boys and then of course we have a want to hold your hand twist and shout you can't do that all my loving all those you know classic beatles tunes from back in the day and i would say the sound quality is really not bad i wouldn't say it's up to par with things like live at the hollywood bowl like the recent one that just came out but i would say it's kind of on that same level this is a really good listenable um live recording of the Beatles during the Beatlemania era, uh, since the shows that they did were just essentially a wall of screams from the girls. And uh, this record comes pressed on purple vinyl, which looks absolutely vibrant. 
a really, really awesome uh, Beatles bootleg. I've seen a couple other releases that kind of look similar to this. Um, I've seen them pop up on things like elusivedisc.com and some other sites. So I'll have to check those out. Perhaps they can kind of be complementary to this release. But otherwise, this is a really awesome Beatles bootleg to check out for yourself. Now we're going to bust into some punk rock with the Ramones, Blitzkrieg 76. Uh, this I got from a seller from Reverb LP before they shut down. And uh, what was great about Reverb LP was that it was rather easy to get bootlegs from there, which was pretty wild. And um, I did some research on this particular recording, and it's actually quite interesting. So this was just after the band had released their first album back in 76. Uh, this was from a gig that they did at this place called The Club in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the story goes that the guy that attended uh, the show, who recorded the show, had a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. And he actually approached Joey Ramone and asked him, hey, can I record the show? And Joey was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So it is an audience recording, but it sounds killer. Two microphones set up from the back of the um, of the venue. It sounds awesome. I mean, this is up on YouTube. You can listen to it for yourself. It's really, really good. And what's crazy about this recording is that usually with Ramon shows, they would bust into like several songs in once stop for a bit, and then go on to the next. And I guess during that brief break, uh, Joey was addressing the crowd, and there must have been a brawl that broke out. And you can hear glass being broken, chairs being thrown. It's really crazy. It took about a solid minute or two before the band can resume their set, but uh, kind of adds to the uniqueness with this recording. And the set list itself, it's not just stuff from the first album. There's some stuff that um, appeared on the band's second album, Leave Home, which came out uh, the following year in 77. Uh, so we have, of course, things like Let's Greet Bop, Wanna Be a Boyfriend, 53rd and 3rd, Havana Affair from the first album. Then we have things like Gimme Gimme Shock Treatment, I Remember You, uh, California Sun, Babysitter, which appeared on the UK version of Leave Home. Just really, really awesome stuff. A great early uh, Ramones bootleg, uh, often regarded as one of the best sounding ones that's out there. And uh, the copy that I have uh, comes pressed on white vinyl. So I would say if there's any Ramones bootleg that you're curious about and you want to check out, this is the one. Next up, we have Queen BBC Session Experience. Now, this is the bootleg that I got from Discogs, and there is a nifty way that you can get bootlegs from Discogs. Uh, you just have to go to all of the listings that are up for grabs of any given artist that you're checking out, select your local currency. For me, it's always USD. I don't really check out overseas listings because I don't like to pay the overseas uh, shipping fees. Select vinyl as the format, and when it comes to description, select unofficial release. And you might get lucky. You might see some uh, listings for bootlegs that are up uh, before they get taken down by the Discogs team. And that was exactly the case with this particular release. Uh, so this is a uh, broadcast recording that the band did uh, for the BBC at the Golders Green Hippodrome in London on September 13th, 1973. That's actually my birthday, except I was born 20 plus years after this show took place. And uh, what's crazy about this recording is that A, it is the earliest known Queen live recording to exist, and the band had just released their first album that previous summer in 73, and they're already playing stuff that was going to be on their second album, which came out um, in early 74. Hell, even the broadcaster was like, yeah, they're due to release their second album coming up, and uh, whenever in 74, and I'm like, geez. So off of the second album, we have Father to Son, and Ogre Battle, as well as um, See What a Fool I've Been, a really cool bluesy number, which was only released as a B-side to the Seven Seas of Rye single. And then off the first album, we have Son and Daughter and Liar. And then we have some oldies rock covers with um, Jailhouse Rock, Stupid Cupid, uh, Big Spender, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, this is just a really killer early queen live recording. Definitely worth checking out. Um, the audio has been released officially. Um, it came out as part of the deluxe version of the Queen on Air collection, which brings together all of the stuff that they did for the BBC, whether it was radio sessions, live stuff, interviews and such. So it is definitely out there and um, definitely is a really fine gem of some early classic live Queen. 
And the last band I'm going to be talking about in this bootleg uh, vinyl haul is Ghost. And we have a couple of Ghost bootlegs to show in this video. Uh, first up is Live at Globe and Annexet, Stockholm, Sweden on November 13th, 2015. Uh, I got this uh, from the Roland Records Black Friday event uh, that was going on on Black Friday. And uh, I think I got the one copy that was available of this release, which is absolutely crazy because I placed my order and I checked back just to see what else was left of, you know, stuff that I kind of had my eye on, but I just didn't get. And uh, this was sold out like immediately, which is insane. And uh, this is probably the best sounding bootleg from the Meliora Papa 3 era of Ghost. Uh, this was uh, broadcasted for um, Swedish radio and the quality is absolutely outstanding. Um, you can hear uh, the backing tracks that they used to use um, much more defined in this recording, uh, particularly like backup vocals and such since Papa was the only one that sang live. Uh, during this incarnation of Ghost. Now it's a completely different animal with, you know, backup ghouls doing, you know, backup vocals and guitars and such. So it's a bit of a different animal. Uh, but this is a really awesome release. Uh, this was put out by a label called Iron Eagle Records. Uh, they put out fantastic quality looking uh, releases. Great back cover art with live pictures of the band. And look how limited that release is. That is copy number 49 out of 50. And uh, you can easily trace down this recording in bootleg format relatively easily. Um, this was released under a couple of different titles. There's Homebound, uh, The Tomb of Ghost BC, and then there's this one. And uh, wait till you see the vinyl on this. This is absolutely beautiful stuff. Comes on marbled gray vinyl, which looks absolutely killer awesome awesome stuff and then i'll show you guys the second one this one's kind of a lighter shade of gray but still looks equally as cool check that out really cool stuff next up is live at the teatro vorderix buenos Aires, argentina on august 31st 2014 uh this came out as well on black friday but i did not initially pick this up so i'd actually got my hands on a kiss bootleg called zurich rock city which came from a show that they did in switzerland during the monster tour from 2013 the quality of the audio was fantastic but the sequence of the tracks on the vinyl did not match at all what was on the track list of the back cover and this is just on side a it started with psycho circus um shout it out loud then it went into lick it up and then rock and roll all night the sequence was completely off i didn't even listen to the rest of it and so i was able to get my money back sent it and then with the money that i got back I got this. And the reason why I didn't pick this up at first was because I already had a bootleg from the Papa 2 Infestisumam era of Ghost, uh, that being Rio's Ritual, which was uh, their performance at the Rock and Rio Festival. Uh, but that is a shorter, abridged uh, set, whereas this is a full show from that era. And um, this was uh, broadcasted, I think, on video, and they just took the audio from it, and the audio itself is fantastic. Uh, the one thing I'm kind of turned off by is the cover, because as you see there, that's Papa 3 from the Meliora era, and the audio itself is from Papa 2 in the second album, so it's kind of off. Uh, but the photos on the back um, are from the appropriate time frame uh, from where the recording is from. And as you see here, I have copy number 117 out of 300. And the vinyl itself comes on red vinyl, kind of like smoky red vinyl because we have some flecks of black. And uh, this was put out as well by Iron Eagle Records. So this is a really awesome quality release. And, uh, and in terms of the track list, we essentially have almost all of the first two Ghost albums, um, Opus Eponymous and Infestissumam, as well as um, their covers of Roki Erickson's If You Have Ghosts, as well as uh, the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun. So this is a really, really um, awesome Papa 2 era Ghost bootleg. Last but not least, we have 
BBC Radio Sessions. Now, I got this as a pre-order from RolandRecords.com. I paid the really killer pre-order price of $19.99 uh, instead of the $25 that it now goes for on the site. And uh, this simply brings together all of the uh, BBC Radio Sessions that Ghost did. Um, we have one from 2013 with things like Prime Mover, Year Zero, if you have Ghosts, and then one from 2015, uh, Cerise, uh, Mummy Dust, Absolution, and then one recently from 2019 where we have Rats, Faith, uh, Dance Macabre, and Life Eternal. Here's the backside. And I think this is a rather cool record to wrap this haul up because wait till you see the color of the vinyl. You actually can already kind of see it now. Check that out. So it's kind of like orange and white splatter. This is just absolutely killer looking. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of splatter vinyl that I have in my collection. Really cool uh, custom center labels. We have Papa 2 in the Ghouls on side A. And then we have Cardinal Copia on the B side. Otherwise known as Papa Emeritus the Fourth as of right now. So there you guys go. That is my vinyl bootleg haul of a little bit of everything, as you just saw. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning.